cleverly I managed to delete the intro section of this uh, video um, I actually took it out while I was out at van and uh, deleted it off my phone which was really really clever of me anyway this video today is going to be about changing the bulbs in the heater controls um, in the van seems to be quite a common fault with the Vivarios or Vivaro whatever however you pronounce that um, they they blow and then you can't see a thing um, which makes it very very awkward so anyway that's uh, that's what today's video is going to be about I apologize for the wind noise um, I'm recording most of this on the phone and uh, it just picks up the wind like no one's business I am trying to get hold of a microphone um, a clip on microphone to improve things but at the moment I haven't got anything so it is what it is um, it's not brilliant but hope you enjoy it anyway there we go so these are the controls um, and basically what we've got to do we've got to take off this this cowl in here around here and then we should be able to pull these this out um, we've got oh, if I can move that out of the way Two bolts this side and two the other side that we've got to get off. I'll just quickly show you the tools I'm using. Uh, I've had these quite a long time. This is the old work zone um, multiple bits um, and you, you've got virtually every screw type adapter that you could possibly want. And on this one, believe it or not, this is a, a little special. Um, cheap and cheerful but it's really really useful um, it's a little tiny set of uh, sockets but they're I don't know if you can see that they're through sockets so you can actually wind down onto a, uh, a stud or a um, bit of threaded bar or something like that without having to worry really really useful uh, and cheap as chips as they say uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the tools we're going to be using. Okay, so the first two bits that we've got to undo, I don't know how easy, uh, if you can see that very clearly, um, are these these uh, torque screws, and they're a T20 size. So we'll uh, just get these two undone, and then I'll go around and do the two the other side. Exactly the same process. I'm sure you all know how to undo a screw. That's one, and the other one's just a little bit out of frame. But um, once you've seen a screw undone, you've seen a screw undone. It's not exactly exciting. So I'll just go and do the other side. Okay, we've done done the uh, screws, and now we've just got to pull this out. Um, to give us a little bit of room we'll probably want to slide this out of the way if we can um, and then we just un unclip this panel oh, a bit awkward not a lot of room and typically when you're filming the wind picks up so I can't open the other door in the van because it just blows straight through like a tornado so yeah we've got to uh, just unclip this if we can get hold of it so we've got that unclipped and we can pull it out of the way and we can see 
down here you can see you've got some more screws to undo there I believe there's three um, yeah there's three there's one down there one there and then one there so we'll just get those undone again I'm not gonna video me undoing screws it's not really that exciting so back in a second okay we've got those screws out now all we've got to do is just gently prise this forward so we get a hand underneath here and we just gently pull that forward and you need to pull out of the clips Ooh. Once we're out, we should be able to drop that down. There we go. Pull it down. It takes a little bit of gentle persuasion. But don't go too mad because you don't want to break anything. There we go. And we can pull that forward and see behind. And we've got two bulbs behind here. We've got one here. There. And then we've got one sitting right down there. I don't know if you can see it. That one there, see? And we've got to get those out and replace the bulbs in there. Um, important, don't switch your ignition on while you're doing this. Um, from what I understand, and I don't know because these bulbs have never worked since I've had it, um, they light up all the time. So if you put the ignition on, you're going to have power running through it. And it also runs to the fuse that, that operates the, uh, the isolator. Um, Immobiliser, I should say, that's what it's called. Um, and if you blow that, you're not going to start your car or your van. Um, so make sure your power's off. Okay, give me two seconds and I'll be back. Right, I've come around the other side of the van because it's uh, a bit easier to get to. And we're going to try and get this first one out, which is down there. And it's very, very fiddly. Uh, we need to try and get it out of there. They, they just twist and pull out. Um, as I say, it's very fiddly because you can't get this thing out of the way. Oh, and there we go. So you can see, the, I'm not gonna find the lens. You can see this is the uh, the little bulb holder. And I don't know if you can see the bulb. It looks pretty naff. So we're going to take that out and replace it with a new one. Uh, bought a little box of new new bulbs. And we've got the uh, the Ring Auto T5s. Let me read that. Nothing much on there. And there you can see what the rating is. There are 286, 12 volt, 1.2 watt T5s, back of 10. Just have to bear with me because I need to get them out of there and I can't do it one handed so back in a second. Okay inside the box we've got two little bags and there's five bulbs in each bag. Um, so just now I've got to try and get that undone. Um, just bear with me, I don't know if I can do it on camera because as I say the, uh, it's very fiddly. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with one hand, it's not easy. So try and get this bag undone. Yeah, nicely teased out of there. And we'll get one of these little bulbs. Right, a good idea to, to see if you can check the wires on here. Because uh, they're only like two little wires to come out for the element. Um, so if we, we need to try and check them and uh, make sure they're not crossed over or anything. Because we don't want it shorting out. So I'll just have a, a good look at those and uh, be back in a second okay so the new bolts uh, okay looks fine uh, all the wires are in the right place so what we've got to do is we've got to pull so excuse me this wind is a real nuisance it's blowing in from the side uh, where i've got the door open it just blows everything around so we've got to just pull this out gently just work it out sometimes they're a little bit tight and we get the new bulb and I don't know if you can see in there. Um, can you see in there? Connectors there, yeah. Um, and 
and they go either side of the, the bulb and connect onto the wires that are on there. So then all we do is we push the bulb back in there nice and firmly. Yeah, that's nicely in there. And then we put it back into the uh, the holder. Um, again, I don't know if I can film this. We'll give it a go. One second. Right, we'll try this. We can see the, the holder there. That's where we've got to get it. So try and get it into there. Oh, get it around the right way. Helps. see that I'm having enough trouble seeing it so in and then we've just got to do the other one which should be easier so two seconds okay so that's the first one done so now we'll try and get this second one out if we can get the camera to focus there we go that's just that's a lot easier to get to so we'll just twist that round and pull it out and on the game we can see the bulb is not a lot of good there so same process as before, um, put it over to here, um, let's try and get this tripod back so you can see, there we go, now we'll get one of the new bulbs. Out of the bag. I'll put those back in your pocket because it keeps blowing away. I apologise for this wind if you can hear it. Um, it's a bit of a nuisance. Um, make sure the wires are in the right place. Yeah, they feel okay. So that's the new one. That's that's the old one out the other side. And a little gentle wiggle as we pull on this. And out she comes. And then we put the new bulb back in. Nice and firmly. And now we need to get it back into that slot. Right. Excuse the bad camera work. She goes back into this slot here. And we'll turn it firmly into the right slot. Let's turn it around and see if it's the other way out. I don't think it really matters, but I didn't want to turn, so there we go. It. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it in the daylight when we turn them on. We uh, might have to wait until it's dark to see whether it's working. But we'll give it a go, have a look. So, let's just pop that back in place for a second. Right, here we go. Um, I just turned the ignition on. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference, but you can just make out a light come on. Yeah, can you see that? Off. On. Shave it a little bit, uh, it doesn't make any difference. But there you go, that's the, that's the bulb changed in there. So now it's just a case of putting it all back. Bringing. Okay, so now we've just got to get this back in place. Um, Something you do need to be careful of are these little clips. I don't know if you can see that, these little clips here. You've got them under here as well. Um, can you see that? Just need to be careful they don't ping off because if they do you won't get your your fascia back in properly um, anyhow what we've got to do is get this up under there 
some little locating lugs there. So we'll get those in like so. And we push that gently in on the other side. And that's clipped there. So now we need to get the screws back in. You notice you've got two different size screws there. We've got two long ones, one short one. Yeah, two long ones, one short one. Again, they're T20s. So the long ones go in the outside position. In there. So, don't over tighten it because you'll pull it straight through. Um, I'll put the other ones in, you don't really need to see me doing those. Same principle, just putting a screw in. Back in a second. Okay, so that's all the screws back in. So now we need to get this, this uh, gear lever housing or whatever you want to call it back in. So, again, you've got those little clips in there, you just need to push them in. Not sure I can do this one handed. I might have to use two hands to do this. Um, give me one second. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Easier said than done. There's nothing exciting about putting screws in holes, but we let you do one. There we go. Here we go. Oh, just do the others. Just one little interesting point about this side. Um, when you're putting them back in, I don't know, if, can you see? There's, uh, oh, there's this plastic lug, and there's one on the top of it as well. And these have got to go between the inside plastic lug there, if you can see. Oh, Try and get my hand out of the way so you can see it. So there's a, a grey plastic lug there. They've got to go between that and the outside of this. So there's like a slot there and you need to get them in. A um, little bit fiddly. Uh, you've also got the, this... Um, I don't know what they're called, but they, they basically hold it in place. Once this is all in together, push that in and you push that into there. So we'll just do that. I'll try and do it on camera so you can see. Um, what we're doing, bear with me because I'm not going to mess about with this tripod thing. Just one second. That's it. I'll show you this little tripod in a minute, it's quite handy. I've had it for quite a long time, bought it for a camera, a proper camera, um, so I could do shots from a desktop. Um, but it's quite handy for this. So yeah, they, they go in like that, you see. And then we put the screw in the bottom to hold it. she goes and we'll do the top one as well before we do that let's put this plug in so we just push this up into place 
and pop the plug in. Nice and tight. Oh, and that holds it firm. And then we've got to put the top one in. And all we've got to do is put the uh, gate the back on there. That just pushes in like so and it should all be done. Should have we're going to excuse the wind should have lights. Can you see the lights? Oh we've now got lights on my heater controls. Magic. Brilliant job. One little little footnote if you like if you do happen to blow the fuse when you're doing this. If you take your fuse housing off and have a look. Um, I'm not 100% certain which one it is, but I believe it's the five amp, orange five amp there, I believe is the one that would uh, blow if you blow the fuse. Um, I wouldn't swear to it because the diagram in here is not particularly wonderful. Uh, but it's just a fuse. Um, pretty sure you all know how to change fuses. Difficult. Okay, let's show you this little tripod. Right, this is the little thing. Um, oh, helps if you don't throw it over. A little tiny tripod like that. It doesn't come with this top piece on. Um, they came with the other tripod that I've got the other side, which I bought for holding the phone, as that's going to be the main thing that I use. Um, I can't even use at the moment until I put something better. Just another, a quick look at another piece of equipment I've got, and that's this uh, Andoa, Andoa, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, little 4K video camera. Um, Quite compact, quite good. There are a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, don't seem to be able to get a battery charger um, to charge the batteries, and don't seem to be able to get a spare battery, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, the video quality is not bad on it. It's got quite a good zoom. Um, the thing that I do like about it is it's got a night vision uh, camera on it. So if I want to film anything for the night time when it's dark, I can put the infrared on and uh, film. So I, I've not really done anything much with it at the moment. Uh, let's see, it's a quite a nice little handheld camera. So we'll give that a go later on and see if we can do some videos with that um, and see whether it's any good. That's the noise it makes when it switches on and off. Right, I think that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's not a, it's not an instructional video. I, I do keep emphasising this, but I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to instruct them on how to do things. It's just the way I do things, um, and hopefully you'll enjoy. So that's another job jobbed, as they say. Um, should be quite a relief to get those lights on there. It's a real pain in the butt trying to see and trying to do things like that uh, at the night time when it's dark, especially if you're driving multiple vehicles, um, which I do. Uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you enjoy the, the new um, introductory bit of the video as well. Um, I put that together last night and uh, wanted something a little bit different just from going straight into the video so hopefully you enjoyed that if you do leave me a comment um, would appreciate it if you can like and subscribe that would be really really good and uh, I'll see you on the next one bye for now success yay